the unbeheld, have risen from the depth. No longer are they unseen beneath the surface. No longer do they fear the sun. As the sun casts its poisonous glare down upon them, they glare right back. The spinner in darkness makes its move. The surface, just as the underworld, will succumb before its manifold gaze. But for now, peace prospers across the realm. The other forces look upon the unbeheld with uncertainty. Uncertainty tinged with terror, of course. Some of the other forces look to Kursgul Ul'lok to put the unbeheld in their place, for Kursgul Ul'lok appears greatly powerful and poised to strike the unbeheld, should he wish to do so. And yet, he doesn't. Because he is afraid. He is afraid of the Spinner in Darkness, and he is afraid because he has seen what has happened to all of the others who have struck at the Unbeheld. Every civilization that has angered them directly has fallen, and the ones that have not yet fallen are soon to fall. Perhaps Korsgul Ullok will strike the Unbeheld in the back. Perhaps he won't. Only time will tell. But until that is known, the Unbeheld will make the rest of their plans known. Already, they skitter beneath the surface, constructing teleportation networks so that they might strike at the capital cities of their rivals. Already, the capital city of Primo Nebula is compromised by one such network. The others will soon follow suit. The people of Gellant tower, turning to their King Leofric Shale for guidance, but Leofric knows not what lies ahead. He is afraid, for he sees something that he recognizes amongst the unbeheld. An old shadow, something that he had taken for granted and abused in the past. Something that has a personal vendetta against him. A vendetta that has been saved so that it might be savored to its fullest. The Curse Weaver, for all the horror she has endured, for all that she has been altered and changed by the Spinner in Darkness, still remembers her human life. She still remembers Leofric Shale. And that memory, it is poisonous. And so, it will be the Gallanders that will fall next, and Leofric Shale will meet with a most terrible ending. Greetings, everybody. It is the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Age of Wonders 4. I have done just a couple of turns in between sessions, just to speed things along. Nothing too major happened. Uh, actually, nothing happened at all. Um, but we uh, progressed some of our research. I've also disbanded a lot of our uh, units that are not spiders. Basically, almost all of our animals that are not spiders, I have disbanded. Um, because, you know, we're trying to uh, keep things thematic here, right? Um, I've done some minor provincial improvements. Nothing that really needs uh, needs a real note here. Uh, I guess the only note here is that uh, I'm converting this research post into a uh, conduit. And this forester is going to be converted into a, uh, what you call this thing? A summoning well, which will basically create mana and uh, more mana and knowledge per adjacent conduit, which is these two. So we'll have that going. Now, we are sitting on quite a lot of money with pretty good money income. Uh, since we've disbanded a lot of our units, our mana income, and since we've created extra mana infrastructure, our mana infrastructure is once again really good. So we are definitely in a position where uh, we can do some serious work. Now, I'm going to have a quick look here. Uh, I think I want to create another Corrupt Soul, although I will say... Nah, I'm going to create another Corrupt Soul. Screw it. It's coming to my throne city. Uh, another Night Guard? What, what else can we get here? Oh, Light Cavalry. What are you guys? Uh, from the Cult of the Ashen Hand? We don't want that. Shadow Legionnaires and Night Guards. Uh, they're 2-2 two, two units. I mean, it's cheap. I'm going to recruit them. It's basically free units that we're going to send to our capital. They're not free, but they're cheap. Uh, and they'll be a good 
line of defense. Now, Omok the Distance and Asha Shadowbiter have been separated. Asha Shadowbiter, or we should say Asha the Revenant, did not take kindly to being led by some upstart. It was a test, of course. Uh, we didn't know if Asha, as a Revenant, would be still fully capable of leading, but she has definitely proven that she is, even in her slightly diminished state. She insists that it is a superior state, that the weakness of life has left her. Now she is only strength. She is a vessel of the Spinner in Darkness's will made manifest. Olmok the Distant is going to keep his distance from the Revenant. He narrowly survived her wrath. Uh, speaking of the Revenant's wrath, there are some uh, pigs and other woodland creatures that have decided to make a foray into the underground. They must die. And so they shall. Now they are dead. And both of our characters have leveled up, which means Asha the Revenant has reached level 20, which will unlock her final uh, form. If I could click on her, that would be great. You, we don't need. Very sorry. Um, it's really annoying trying to click characters on... I did it. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright. Level 20 heroic skill. Okay, it doesn't unlock new ones. It would be really cool if there was like a final group of them. Uh, what will we give her? Uh, I think I'm gonna give her Draining Blade. You know, more melee. Although, Reckless Rage sounds like it could be fun. You know what? We'll do Reckless Rage. It's free. Yeah, of course. Reckless Rage sounds absolutely like her. Full Chaos Affinity. The Destroyer of Worlds. Alright, what do we give her? I don't know if this is the max level. Uh, I imagine we can get higher levels, but we're gonna give her Terrifying Aura. I mean, makes sense, right? Seems like she would have Terrifying Aura. We'll mock the Distant. This little upstart here. Well, he'll find his way. Potentially. We made him a leader, yes? Indeed we did. Well, then, uh... Let's give him some... Ah, we're going to give him Spur to Action. That's a pretty good one. He's got a spear. We can use it as a goad, right? Poke at them. Now, we've completed the Devouring Void, which uh, is going to dish out some damage in a one hex radius, which will then expand to another hex radius during the subsequent turn. So that's going to be pretty cool. It'll be a good way to create some nice area denial in the battlefield. Yes. Uh, now, we need to decide on our next tome. I'm still looking at the Tome of the Great Mire, because that could be a lot of fun. Uh, no, we don't use that. We don't use that. Although, Tome of Teleportation is good teleportation. However, however, there's Earth Shatter that I wanted to look at right here. Can destroy mountains. Maybe this will be the terraforming that we need. It's a bit unclear uh, from the comments if this is going to be the one that works. However, some of you wanted to see this, see if it would work. So I'm going to take it. You know, we're a subterranean faction anyway, so I'm, I'm okay with grabbing a couple of these abilities. We should be able to pass through it pretty quickly, and we'll get finally get our first Materium. The mages who see well, we're going to grab uh, Earth Shatter. And we produced our stone walls here, so we could construct a watchtower, but we don't really need to, so... We're just going to leave that as is. That is going to be one of our outposts. Now, Olmok the Distant is going to, uh, in order to create some distance for himself, he is going to move towards where we can hopefully find another... This looks like a good one here. We've got a Golden Gate. We have an Altar of the Elements. A couple of underground passages. I would like to found some teleporters near some of these. Ooh, that is a free city in the subterranean region. Interesting. We don't like that. How do we get here? We probably have to excavate our way there, right? Oh man, it's going to be a bit of work. Uh, we can summon some units for him. I think I want to come here and attempt to take the Pilgrim's Passage. It's going to take a couple of turns to get there, though, so... Yep, he's... Ah, he's going to go up through here. Ah, he went through that teleporter, and now he's going to go through this teleporter. Cool stuff. Uh, we can delete one of these uh, Hell Pigs, I will say. We don't need all that many uh, guardians for the city. We only need one animal, after all. Uh, as for our units up here, uh, we are healing. So he is... Uh, the Astral Serpent here is going to move over in this general direction. And Mount Lisa Shadowbiter. We are moving down towards Murkwater. Murkwater, though, is... 
looking okay with us. How far ahead are they? We're at Allegiance 12. We could we could beat Korsgul Ulluloc by spending a bit of uh, Imperium. We've got enough. We're earning a fair bit. Or I could just conquer them and take the city for myself. It is a possibility. I wouldn't mind doing that, actually. You know what? I'm going to withdraw the Whispering Stone. Screw it. I'm going to give the Whispering Stone to my actual vassal, uh, Donarkur. Because I think they're not at the maximum state. Yeah, they're not... No, they are at vassalage, right? That's what it's saying here. Ah, but there's more stages of vassalage. Bonded vassalage. Yeah, you know what? We're going to give you the Whispering Stone. We can uh, increase our... Uh... Uh, I've been insulted by the Frick Shale. Well, you know, I've been denounced by also Leo Frick Shale. All the more reason to kill him. Kill him we shall, in due course. But first, I think we're just going to conquer Murkwater. Screw it. I'm going to take it. They might not hate us right now, but uh, we have a pact of cooperation. Trading is enabled. Yeah, look. See, the orcs like them, or they like the orcs better, and that's that's their downfall. They should not have uh, taken that deal. So we will advance upon them, and we will destroy them as soon as we reach them. Solera has sent a war party. Yeah, they're going to have to come through what we've got going on down here. So good luck to them. I don't think it's going to work out too well for them. We should, uh, we should be able to smash them, no problem. Uh, what about our other forces? We've got a force down here. We could defend on our t or Damas tour, I should say. Uh, but then again, we have a border with Tuskheim, and at this point, I don't trust. I do not trust the orcs. They are moving some forces around. Okay, the forces are moving up there, so I'm not that concerned about it. But still, not something I like. In order to create some, you know. Forces that can just appear wherever we're going to uh, ready up some units. We can absolutely spend some mana. It's not a problem. We have huge mana income, and we're just going to keep these units at the ready. And then, uh, Shadowbiter here, what are you doing? You're going to heal, because we need to heal, and then we're going to take out these enemies. Is there any reason why we need to take out these enemies? I don't think so. Like, we could build another outpost right there. Just have two outposts right here. It would give us more mana, and it would pay for itself. So there's no real reason not to. It's just an upfront cost, and then we benefit afterwards. So we probably should. We'll end our turn. So, Earth Shatter has been completed. We will now get... I mean, Vine Prison would be good, but we, we've got plenty of immobilization. Uh, Evil Eye, I guess? Target enemy unit is dealt 10 frost damage and is cursed with foul magic, inflicting 2 jinxed, which reduces their status resistance, and 2 misfortune, which makes them fumble more. I don't know. I think I'm going to shuffle this, see what we can get instead. Ritual of Somnia. Right, this is the stun, or the tremor, tremor ritual. This is a siege project. At the start of combat, towers, battlements, and additional wall obstacles are destroyed. That sounds awesome. Let's get that. We, we do burrow underground, after all. Alright, Spinner's Nest has produced a Tower of True Sight. I guess we didn't really need that anymore, but hey, we have it now, so that's good enough. Um, so, we're going to try it. Earth Shatter. Wait, looks like it works. Is it colonizable? I think it is. Holy shit. It actually worked. This is incredible. We can expand the spinner's nest. We're no longer, oh my God, this is amazing. Thank you to everybody that has been telling me to do this for so long. I am sorry for misinterpreting it continuously and doing the wrong thing over and over again. It was a long process, but we finally got here. All right, let's do it again. <laughs> okay, what about this one? Or we just go further there? Uh, we don't need to. Uh, but you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this one here. This is amazing. I mean, now we can expand into there, right? How much expansion can we do? We can't expand further, but uh, alright. You know what? That's fine. 
Because we'll be able to build a farm there. Holy shit, we can actually expand the spinner's nest. I didn't think it was possible. I'm so sorry for doubting everyone. All right, we're gonna build a black palace as a celebration of the fact that we can expand. Because now, you know, we can expand it. That would be good. What the fuck is a beacon of valor? Increases the health of our fortifications. Okay, eh, that's all right. That's okay. Um, hmm. We could start creating seeds. Maybe we could go for a magic victory. I don't know, I'm kind of, you know, doing this whole conquest thing. Oh, look. We no longer have any wizard bonds with anyone. Good. They didn't want it anyways. Uh, where were you going? Yeah, you just do your confirmed movement. Is that what you were supposed to be doing? I guess so. Now, as for you guys, moving towards Murkwater. Oh yeah, where we're going. We're going to Murkwater. We are about to invade Murkwater, and they're going to have a bad time. So we're going to actually conquer this city. The reason I want to conquer it is because uh, this is going to... Actually, there's quite a bit of expansion room here, and there's a couple of wonders that are within its reach, so... By a couple of wonders, I mean one. Right? Like, just that one. Yes. Right. That's fine. Uh, go and reinforce City of Funneled Webs. Looking good there. Uh, as for this force, Moloch Shadowbiter. Moloch Shadowbiter, what are you going to do? Do I send him underground? I think we need to have more subterranean explorers. Sending one explorer is going to take way too long. So I'm going to send him up to the teleporter. And the Shadowbiter here is going to... You know what? We are just going to smite some of these random uh, enemies. Is there a particular reason to do so? Not really. I mean, we're just going over there to found some outposts anyways. I mean, that's a tier 4 spider. That ain't bad. I'm going to send this to the teleporter so that it can go and reinforce something of interest. Uh, what were you doing? Were you heading to Murkwater? You were, but I don't think you're needed at Murkwater. Where I'm going to send you instead is actually to the Sacral Infestation. So we're going to send you there through this teleporter here. We have acquired more Archon's blood. We've got a lot of Archon's blood. We've got four Archon blood, which is uh, pretty, pretty substantial, I will say. Uh, we've got a lot of spells just ready to go. Uh, we don't need to do any more Earth Shattering until we have more um, cities available. But hey, uh, or more uh, population available. 1100 Imperium to get this. Could be good. Um, but we'll have a bit of time before we get that, because we need to siege the city and do all kinds of other stuff. But, this would be good. Increase the uh, mana and research from our research posts and conduits. Could be quite good. Uh, there was also the teleportation one, right? Where was that? Um, or did we already get that? Was this... I'm sure that was here. Oh, here we go. Teleporters grant 15 mana income. I mean, that sounds pretty filthy, since we do have a lot of teleporters. Well, let's get that. And, uh, oh man, it's uh, looking pretty good. Oh, we already have this one. Your units gain universal camouflage in your domain. Oh my god, we'll be the unbeheld again. All right, kind of like that. We can be sneaky. So, the enemy can't see us. That's that's our Imperium. We'll have to wait a couple of turns before we can found another city. But during that time, we will uh, besiege Murkwater. And I think by the time we finish the Siege of Murkwater, which we admittedly don't need all of these forces that we're sending here for, but, uh, you know, overkill is what it is. Who Who's going to lead it? I, I think the Curse Weaver still needs more... Uh, more skill and upgrades and all that. So I'm going to send uh, Einbis Unfound down to uh, assist here in Duskwatch. He's going to help protect Duskwatch. And I may search for an underground entrance. We got one right there. Actually, I'm going to send her there. Because this is going to be right here. Ah! We have jerks occupying our outposts. Not a fan of that. So we're going to send her to go and deal with them. We've got some spells ready to launch, but not of our concern right now, because we don't need them at the moment. So we're just going to end our turn and see what the enemy does. We have produced the Black Palace at the City of Funneled Webs. Truly glorious. There's a mighty city. Well, we have a couple of other uh, buildings we can 
create here. We could create a mage's guild. Doesn't seem like a terrible idea, though I will say, if we're gonna get attacked by the orcs, we want some defenses here. So we're gonna focus on some defenses. We're gonna get ballista towers. First, that's gonna take only two turns. We'll make a Caltrop stash down here. And then uh, I'm gonna also produce catapult towers just so that this place is absolutely not going to fall easily. It's gonna take as many turns as it's going to need to take uh, for it to fall. Uh, what are we gonna do with this army? You are heading up to the teleporter and you are going to drop down into uh, where now? Because you can't actually, you know what? Go to the sacral infestation. Should we go to the Sacral Infestation? We can start attacking Leifric Shale with some of our forces, perhaps. Um, you know, I had that whole intro there about uh, us threatening him, so. I think it's time we actually move on his forces, though we will need a hero leading. Ah, we do have a hero, excellent. So it's gonna be uh, Einbis here, but we want another uh, force to assist there. Um, it's not gonna be you guys, though, hold on. We definitely have some units here. So I'm gonna force march the uh, mm -hmm. these black guards. Uh, that really took the whole, uh, made the whole army force march. That kind of sucks. Uh, we're gonna move these uh, fanatics out and I'm going to put my spiders into these units here. Yeah, this needs a better front line to be sure. Uh, so I'm gonna put an ice spider in this one and we're going to put the spider matriarch right here. All right, that's gonna be a, a good army. Um, let's move one of you guys out. Can I move? Yeah. All right, there we go. Better. So we've got we've got spiders here in this front line. So it's a little bit more of a, a balanced force. Unfortunately, they're gonna to need to heal a little. So they will do that. Now our attack force here. You are going to head to. The underground entrance. Are you gonna head down there? What the hell was that? Some sort of loud noise. Uh, yeah, you were gonna head to here. Great. Meanwhile, we encroach on Murkwater. All right, that's gonna be our turn. I'm gonna do the rest uh, off camera. And this is why we must destroy Leofric Shale. He is now claiming our territories. We have completed Tremor Ritual, so that will assist us in sieges. Now, uh, what else? Uh, animal Kinship, perhaps? No, we don't need that. We don't really need Super Growth either, so I'm going to shuffle here. Uh, forest Awareness. All forests grant vision on the world map. I mean, look, here's the thing. There are a lot of spiders that live in trees. And all spiders our eyes to the Spinner in Darkness. The Spinner in Darkness has been weakened since untold millennia due to the cataclysm that uh, precluded the rise of these civilizations here upon this world. But it is regaining strength, in fact, thanks to our sacrifices. So, with a great ritual, the Spinner in Darkness will observe through every single eye of every single spider upon the world. So we'll get forest awareness. And our troops are going to move into position. Uh, we are just going to uh, hold out here for now. Let's actually just move through our border so that we can keep an eye on them. That should be enough. We don't need to invade Hartfield directly, but uh, we can definitely uh, start threatening them. And the rest of our troops are going to move to where they need to go. So you are going to head to, uh, was it that one? It was, right? Just confirm your movement. Excuse me? Where are you going now? I sent you somewhere else, didn't I? Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, you're doing your thing. I, I kind of wish you were a little faster, but I guess you're not. So we're going to send the Corrupt Soul through the teleporter, and I'm just going to send him with the spider so that we can uh, do that all at the same time. And we are ready to begin the invasion of Murkwater, so we're going to uh, have the, uh, the Curse Weaver herself start this. We will uh, declare war. Declare war on... Oh. Oh. Would you look at that? Somehow, 
Leofric Shale was able to secure their allegiance. No doubt some sort of trickery. He is a treacherous and seditious leader, after all. Very well. I have a completely unjust war. Okay, so we're going to need to uh, figure some things out then. He has some uh, grievances here. I could attempt to pay for my transgressions. I have a lot of money, so I am actually going to do this. Can only do a few per time? Really? It's too early to sell more grievances. All right, well, then uh, we're going to have to make some pronouncements uh, here. I could denounce them. It cost me 200 mana. I think that's fair. I'm going to denounce them. You've insulted my empire. And I'm going to fabricate some grievances against him. All right. And then I'm going to declare a rivalry with him. Wonderful. So that should spin this up quickly. So we have even more time before we attack Murkwater. A real shame, because last turn I was able to attack Murkwater without that. So they were able to secure their allegiance. Basically, they saw us coming. And uh, presumably, uh, Leofric Shale made them an offer they couldn't refuse. Very cunning, but it won't save them. So, uh, we have a completely unjust war. I'm not willing to tank that right now. After all, we have a decent standing with the rest of the world. Well, they are afraid of us. But uh, should they start to hate us, they may attempt to band together against us. And that'll be fine eventually. But for now, I don't want to fight another war against multiple factions at the same time. Now, Arachna's Veil is ready to expand. Right. I needed to take the Tower of Torment. Ooh, and the Spinner's Feast is also ready to expand. We shall build this conduit here, or is there anything else in the nearby vicinity? Uh, this gold mine. Let's actually... Do I want to build this gold mine here? That might go to Murkwater. So who, who holds this here? I don't know. Uh, let's just take it. I'm gonna take the gold mine. But it's not really a gold mine. It's just a. Uh, it's just one of these. But that's that's fine. As we construct this merchant's guild here, uh, how are we looking? There are any further expansions to be had? Not until uh, we raise Tuskheim, which I'd like to do at some point, but can't do it just yet. Ah, this is still ruined. We need to fix that. Unfortunately, the city ruins... Hold on. I think there's a way we can... Target not valid. I can't destroy city ruins. Perhaps I can use Earth Shatter? Yes. Good stuff. I still don't think I can expand into it, though. Nope. Interesting. All right. Um, so city ruins... You can't really interact with. Unless you rebuild them. Good to know. Other rulers have started a war. Who is at war with who? The Shale and Mustafa Ibn Nazir. Well, almost perfect timing. We'll be ready when the time is right. Um, who is going to the Tower of Torment here? We have to send somebody. Perhaps, uh, you know what? Since, since you're heading in that direction anyways, it's going to be you. Don't force march there, just that's where you're going. Okay, we are holding here. You're holding here, just keeping, keeping an eye out. You're holding there. Now, we have a uh, another one of these Thunderbirds. We don't need them, they look really cool, but they're uh, rather expensive. Not that that's a major problem. We destroyed the city ruins here. You may notice the Caustic Worm that was here has died. Don't worry, that's not Caustic Worm, son of Caustic Worm. Caustic Worm, son of Caustic Worm, is no longer part of uh, Asha the Revenant's army. So there's nothing to be concerned about. Caustic Worm, son of Caustic Worm, is doing just fine. Uh, let's do an auto combat here, because I don't need to, I think, worry too much about this force. We lost a Warlock. Oh no. So sad. All right, we will take the, uh, the items here and take this area. Let's, let's build an outpost, because we can. Adjacent to an already existing outpost or city. That's not adjacent. That's far away. All right. Well, apparently we can't do that. So uh, that sucks. I'm not declaring war. All right. We're just... Okay. Somebody has an auto move here that is being problematic. So let's withdraw. 
to a safe distance. Okay. And you? What are you guys doing? You're, you're holding here? You're holding here. Okay. Much better. All of our forces are just gonna camp out for a little while. Should uh, speed things up. <laughs> oh, you recognize your transgressions, do you, Leah Brickshale? I don't believe him for a second. There will be no mercy. Rest assured, there is much bad blood between us. The obliging Duchess Ella Greenworth of Avernos offers her help during your war with Solaria. Great curse weaver, it has come to my attention that you have finally seen the true colors of the horrible Magistrate Alistair Starsinger of Solaria. I would like to offer you my finest warriors to aid in your war. The people of Avernos are very eager to help crush Solaria. Well, we could hire units from them. We would gain peasant pikemen and defenders for 48 gold, or for 486 gold. That doesn't seem worth it. Look, I appreciate your sentiment. Ah, well, well, well. It seems our plans against Leofric Shale are going to have to wait. Because the Red Wake Orcs have turned on us. Well, it seems there is no peace amongst the villains of this world. So, alas, we're going to have to withdraw from Murkwater yeah. as we move to uh, begin raising Korsgul Locke's territory. This is, this is treason. No two ways about it. All right, go to the Tower of Torment. Did I tell you to go through there? That doesn't seem like the quickest way. All right, well, you know, the AI said it was the quickest way, so I, I trust the AI over my own calculations. Because I didn't make any calculations. <laughs> Just look that way. All right, um, so. This certainly changes things. So move down towards uh, this underground passage, right? We were heading to the one near the Pilgrim's Passage. The problem is, is I don't know if there's a way that we can actually burrow through there. Because there doesn't seem to be a way to get here unless we can get to there. Which require us to... It doesn't seem like the underworld fully connects. I'm not sure how... Oh, now you want to go back. Oh, this is... This is very messy. This is very messy. Unfortunately. Okay, uh, go to the City of Funneled Webs. Right, is that the one? I think so. Yeah, that's the one. Alright. So, hold out here. We're going to defend the City of Funneled Webs, because I'm assuming they're going to attack me relatively soon. Declaration ended. Countered. What is this? Yeah. Well. Whispering Stone has returned. Indeed, it has. Let's give the Whispering Stone to Avernos. We can turn them into a, uh, a more potent vassal. Okay. Well, since we can't construct anything further, I'm actually going to head back to the teleporter, and I'm going to send uh, the Revenant to go and uh, lead the war against those damn orcs. Also, I have an idea. Ooh, what is this? You're colonizing here in Silverbridge? Not a fan of that. I'm going to help the Vestigial Strand, and we're going to help the Vestigial Strand by using Earth Shatter on some of their surrounding territories. We're going to, uh... The target not valid. So that's not valid? That is. What? What's the difference? I'm confused. Alright, well, well, we'll cast it there then. Okay. Um, let's do another one. So that way they can hopefully make some expansions. I'm just going to use this a ton. Okay. That should allow the Vestigial Strand to make some uh, minor expansions into new regions, so... That may come to benefit our allies. Uh, as for the Spinner's Nest, I don't think we can expand further yet, but... I may as well just get some of these ready while we go. For next turn. Okay. Speaking of next turn, let's end our turn. Well, we've completed Forest Awareness. Now, the spiders watch from everywhere. Baron's Palace, not going to be useful to us. Neither is ve well, Vessels of Chaos might be, but 
Minor race transformation, and it doesn't really match our thematic. Um, evil Eye, maybe. I'm gonna shuffle, see what we can get here. This Fog of Insanity. Target-friendly city. Any battle in the domain of the city now has the Fog of Insanity battle enchantment, which causes enemies to have a 10% chance of gaining insanity every turn. You know what? That sounds like fun. What's going on here? There's a riot here in, uh, in Duskwatch. Indeed. All right. That's a problem. That's Solaria. Okay, so Solaria's gonna attack from there. Yeah, I needed the tier 3 stronghold. You know what? I'm gonna rush it. Now we can build the Overlord's Tower and prevent that from happening. 29 turns! Oh my god. All right, let's build a Stonemason first. <laughs> That's still gonna take 10 turns. Dear lord, what is wrong with this place? Uh... Wow. That's pretty bad. Not gonna lie. So, Solaria is going to attack us, probably landing here. Um, they have Astral Keepers. I mean, uh, ultimately, not the scariest army. I think we can hold out, uh, wait out a siege, so I'm going to send my troops up to deal with this uh, rebellion before it becomes too problematic. Einbiss is moving towards the Tower of Torment. And uh, the Shadow Biter turned Revenant is going to move there. I'm going to summon a uh, another greater animal for her. What, what's it going to be? It's going to be another spider, so she's just leading an army of spiders. That's, uh, you know what, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Now, what are the enemy doing here? Are they amassing on our borders? Probably. Let's, let's go amass on their borders. Two can play that game. Okay. Fire Giant. All of our forces advance. No, we're not going to burn our own vassal cities territories down, all right? We may be evil, but we have some standards. Every now and then. So, maybe. Not really, but we pretend we have standards. We gotta uphold some appearances. All right, let's, uh, let's end our turn. The Arachnid Horde advances. We must be cautious, though. Somewhat cautious. We don't know... I mean, we do know what they have. We can see all of their forces, which is awesome. So, we advance on Tuskheim. They are poorly defended. They probably should have thought this through. Uh, actually, this force is going to withdraw to the City of Funneled Webs, because we need to maintain a semblance of order there. However... Yeah, man. I don't know if we needed to withdraw those units, though. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. They're, they're gonna stay there and hang out. Um, now, meanwhile, we're going to drop down into this teleporter here, and we are going to teleport our way up to nowhere, apparently. Okay, can I select for the army now? What the hell is going on here? I guess we just move, right? And then it's going to send us in the correct direction. Okay, so, uh, I have an outpost right up here, right? I do not. That is concerning. I mean, I, I have an outpost, I just don't have a teleporter. We need to rectify that, because Korsgul Ulok has been sending scouts down here. We have uh, Anvil over here, and uh, I don't think they have a city down here, but they definitely sent a scout. And I'll tell you what, if we can get a teleporter right there, we can come up from underground behind their lines somewhere. And hopefully cause them some grief. Now, Arachna's Veil, uh, we need to work on some construction here. We could build an Arcane Institute, 15 knowledge, I mean, why not? Sacral Infestation needs something, we can construct a granary to, uh, or a mint. Let's build a granary first, then we'll build a mint, and all will be well in the realm. Okay. So, yeah, most unfortunate, but, uh, I'm gonna send you to the surface anyways. Question is to where. And it's gonna be to here, it's gotta be. So if we drop you through here, you can, uh, yeah. The Shadow Biter will emerge from the underground and, uh, advance. To, uh, assist, because once we cut through Tuskheim, we can make for their capital, which is Bloodguard. And I reckon we'll be able to split our forces into two. Once I have a siege force here, I'm going to break off um, three armies to go and deal with their armies down there. 
They don't want too many of them to be right there. And then, uh, for the end of today's episode, we are going to do the Tower of Torment. So, uh, when annexed, counts as a conduit, granting 5 Imperium, 15 mana, 15 research, and minus 5 stability. Enemies cannot target world map spells in this domain. Awesome. Enemies cannot cast spells in combat in domain, and I get free casting in this domain, so hopefully they'll be able to attack me. Uh, because that would be a fun fight. Wizard's Bombardment Siege Project, which can speed up a siege using mana. Awesome. Adds the Bone Dragon unit to the Rally of Leeches. Ooh. Also cool. We're going to explore with Einbiss. Hopefully Einbiss can manage. Einbiss Unfound enters a looming Tower of Torment. Once it was a beacon of magical power. Now only fading remnants are left. As Einbiss ascends the Twisting Spire, an uncanny feeling overcomes her. Then she notices a lost wizard scurrying through the tower, frantically searching for something. It suddenly stops when it finds a rotting book and picks up the tome with surprising care. The lost wizard trembles when the tome crumbles to dust in its claws and releases a blood-curdling scream before continuing its frantic rampage. When the lost wizard notices Einbiss, it rises to its full height, ready to fight off this claimant of its power. For its power. Okay. Uh, a lost wizard. Huh? What are you? Okay, well, it's got. I, I can't click on it. Uh, so we're just gonna have to see. We could just attack it. It'll be a risky battle. Or we could use our raw magical power, which would cost us a lot of our mana, but. All defending units will have Sundered Resistance until the end of the battle and Sundered Defense until the end of the battle. That would be pretty good. Take out a book and burn it in front of the Lost Wizard to provoke it. In the upcoming battle, Berserk Defenders is active, so it'll be Berserk. If no enemy is in range, it will attack its allies. Uh, but they'll also be strengthened. Ooh, that's risky. I'm going to use this one, though. We're going to weaken the Lost Wizard. Oh. You know, I, I, I should have gotten the Q when it was saying it when referring to a Lost Wizard. That it would be some sort of unspeakable eldritch horror. Damn, that looks cool. That is awesome. Okay, so it's got lightning bolts as its basic attack. It can do greater phase, so it can just move quite a distance. Forbidden Tome. Unit gains into a forgotten spell, which it can then be used, which can then be used as a single action until the end of the turn. Alright. Uh Defense Mode. This unit and yeah, that's the same shit as always. Okay, aside from that, it's not all that threatening. Unfortunately, I was hoping it would be more intimidating. Three bone dragons, an astral siphoner, and some random spell breakers. Oh boy, this is gonna be rough. But hey, we've weakened them, so. And we have our magic. I think we can manage. Cool map. Very cool. All right. I like this a lot. All right, so I'm Miss Unfound. You are a tank. Right? Is that is that you? Are you the tank? Yes. So we're going to summon some uh, ice spiders here, and we're going to move our ice spiders up. Kind of want them to uh, take the damage that we might suffer here. Um, let's actually move our dark knights, and then I'm going to have the dread spider matriarch summon some dread spider hatchlings, which are also going to advance. And uh, hopefully these two together are going to bait out some. Uh, Shadow Breath. Well, I'm going to send our Black Knights on a deep flank. And uh, our Vampire Spider can also conjure Spiderlings, if I recall. If I can click on her. Indeed she can. So, let's send these Spiderlings over here. They're going to come up the center again to uh, basically function as bait. Then I'm going to move my uh, Watcher over here. And the Vampire Spider will follow there when the time is right. But for now, we're looking good. Uh, what can we put down? I think we should probably drop down a Tome of the Wild. Question is where? Tome of the Wild in the center wouldn't be a terrible idea. I'm gonna drop it right here. Ooh, I hope it doesn't summon back here, because then that's gonna be very annoying. I should have dropped it there, but, uh, it's too late! I've dropped it. Alright. Because if it summons something behind it, then, uh, that's gonna be kind of a useless unit. Dear Lord, it's gigantic! It's bigger than a fucking dragon. Looks, looks really cool, though. Gotta say. Really cool enemy design. 
for the vast majority of enemies in this game. All right. Uh, you know what? It's actually fine. We drop them there, because uh, they're here. They're here. All right. What do we want to do? Well, we've got some interesting spells here. You know, I know it's pretty basic, but I think I'm just going to use Baneful Curse to hit these two. Because they're both going to be in, in range of our attacks, so... Let's get them in. Let's get our birds in. Good job, birds. You really messed them up there. Actually, you did blind them, so that's that's not nothing. Get a good, uh, get some good damage in there. And our vampire spider hatchlings, uh, can we flank around? I think so. That's two spaces behind it. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and get a full surround here. And our ice spiders, we could attempt to freeze them by dropping this right here. You know what? We're gonna do that. If I can freeze both of them, uh, we froze one. Throws the, uh, can't tell. All right, and these guys, we do a charge here? That, that seems like a bad call. I'm actually going to withdraw. We baited them out in that direction. You can't do anything. So what you're going to do is move right there. And then next turn, you're going to be able to shoot some stuff. Now, Vampire Spider, you're going to pull up here, and I'm just going to have you drop a web on them when they get close. As for Einbiss... We're going to move Einbiss behind the Vampire Spider Hatchlings, and then we could uh, drop a Demon Step. That's going to be too much friendly fire for my liking. No, we'll wait. We'll wait on the Demon Step. All right. Leave it. Okay. Mm. All right, so that one is going to probably use its breath there. Nice. Got it to do some friendly fire, but... It also hit a lot of my units, but uh, that's okay. And that one's going to do some breath as well. I'm really okay with it, because, like, the... That doesn't do too much damage to my knights. All right, this may be problematic. It's still not that problematic. It's not much damage. Okay, you're wasting your teleport on what could have just been a normal move. All right. I mean, whatever floats your goats... Alright. So, then we're going to start this off by dropping a uh, Psychic Gaze here. It's marked. Alright. Would have liked a bit more damage. 30% chance only to land this. Well, shit, I have to try. Didn't work. What a surprise. Uh, good charge in. That's going to be quite a bit of damage. Let's do it. Alright, we, we're just engaging. Like, I know I wanted to uh, delay that engagement, but it, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I need to basically move the Ice Spider back here. And then we can hit the uh, the Astral whatevers. And I'm going to drop the Hatchlings. Or not, because I can't click on them at the moment. Grimbeak Crows will attack the dragon. And our Knights are going to... You do that there, or we can drop a, uh, a web here. It's going to hit the Crows. But it's worth it, in my opinion. Good stuff. Now we can get our spider hatchlings in, or we can send Einbiss around. I kind of wish it had actually killed the crows. But uh, let's let's do a demon step. Or it cannot be affected. Why not? Eh, I see why. Okay. Go here. Then we'll demon step. Right behind this dragon. Good stuff. And now... We could attempt an assassinate. There's a 35% chance of success. We're gonna give it a shot. You never know. Not today. I'll just launch a normal attack. That's fine. She can absolutely survive whatever counterattack that thing's gonna send out. So we got uh, we got her in there. We got some more Grimbeak crows. Let's send the Grimbeak crows in against the uh, astral siphoners, and then we got our little uh, spiders here that are gonna to attack it as well. And our Dread Spider Matriarch is going to help fight on this flank. I think we're looking pretty good. Like, I think we got this in the bag. Of course, it, it's going to depend a little. Uh, I'm going to drop a heal on some of our less expendable units. Like, uh, honestly, we don't have any of those. I mean, we, we don't have anything we need to heal right now, so. Um, what could I do? 
could just save my mana, but where's the fun in that? Perhaps I will attempt to freeze you. No, you're slowed, though, so that's something. Because it used its teleport last turn. I'm hoping it can't use that every turn. I wouldn't be surprised if it could, actually. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, so they just teleported out? Or no, it's summoned. Or did it teleport out? If they could just teleport it out. And it fully healed. No, it didn't. It did summon a new one. Okay. I killed one of my knights. And one of my frost spiders. How rude. Well, there go my uh, expendable frost spiders. Okay. Knights could come in and deal some damage, uh, or I could have my Vampire Matriarch do it. Uh, let's see, what could I do here? I could straight up finish these guys off. I'm gonna finish these ones off down here. That way at least they're out of the way. Uh, I'm going to send in the Vampire Spider first. I click on her. Game. Thank you. Ah, okay, we're stuck here. All right. Well, it'll be fine. We'll be able to, uh... actually, we'll do it like so. Go up to there, then kill him. Good stuff. Grimbeak crows. Uh, Grimbeak crows go and harass these uh, people over here. And our dread spider hatchlings. Do we want to send you in to here? I don't think so. We'll, we'll send these dread spider hatchlings to go and take out this uh, dragon here. I'm going to use the vampire spider hatchlings. Never mind. Uh, that was the knights. Fortunate. Tried to click on the uh, other one, but uh, that didn't end up working. All right. Um. Wow, Inbis Unfound can just straight up kill it. Damn! Alright, that was some damage. Pretty good. She's a Dragon Slayer. Joining, uh... Asha the Revenant. In the exclusive, uh, Dragon Killer Club. Which, uh, Thorbell Dragon Killer is not a part of, by the way. He only says he's killed dragons. I haven't seen any proof of that. Probably just trying to take my credit. There was a uh, comment a while back that uh, suggested that. It was a cool suggestion. Nice little uh, bit of rivalry to be had between uh, Asha the Revenant, the Champion of Darkness, and uh, now Einbiss Unfound and Torbell Dragon Killer. Okay. Rip those vampire spiders. And that one Grimbeak Crow. Also the other Grimbeak Crow. Boy, oh boy, am I so sad about my uh, my cannon fodder. Spell fodder, I guess. Dying. In the droves that they are dying in. It is truly a tragedy. I'm sure you can tell by my tone how broken up about it I am. It is. Just. We'll remember them. Knights. Charge. Just shot some damage there. Okay, Einbiss can come in and just wreck these, basically. Uh, should I do that? You need you need help. You need help. You're not looking too good. So, look, we can we can do this. Mm, can we? I could kill you just with you know what? I'm doing it this way. You die. Thank you. You're dead. Ah, look at this. Now you can move again. Uh, go go do that. Now, the question is, can I kill you? I don't think so, but we can at least drop some web- Actually, hold on. With these webs, I think we can probably do it. That was some good webbage. You can't do any webbage, unfortunately. Can you kill them? You can't. Darn. That is disappointing. Well, why don't you eat that dead dragon? Because that seems like a reasonable thing to do. Only 15 hit points from eating a dead dragon. Okay. Uh, look. So I have a I have a solution to this problem. Because that thing's really tanky. And, ah, we can do this. It'll be just fine. Alright. Well, here's my solution to the problem. Go back to Oblivion. <laughs> that is an awesome finishing spell. Holy shit. You can just delete the last unit and... The battle's over. It's like, screw dealing with it. I'm just going to kill it that way. All right. That was uh, that was good. Didn't take any casualties. And we have taken the Tower of Torment. 
A threat in the tower, or the threat in the Tower of Torment having been dealt with, Ibis Unfound is able to search the Broken Spire herself. While rampaging through the tower, the lost wizard missed a secret door, one cleverly hidden by the wizard who resided here before. It leads to a well-protected treasury. All of its contents are in remarkably good condition when compared with the rest of the Tower of Torment. In the center of the room, a floating orb hums and rises with Ein when Einbis enters. Welcome back, master. A voice emanates from the floating orb, unaware Einbis is not the wizard who resided here. What shall I retrieve from your treasury today? Well, we've received a crap ton of knowledge. We could receive a storm orb from the treasury. That doesn't sound all that nice. Uh, we could receive a lot of money. That sounds pretty good. Or a phoenix. We don't want a phoenix. Or 829 Imperium. Let's take the Imperium. Hand me my journals. I wish to learn about my own domain. Yes. Good, Einbis. Good. You have done well. She's coming along nicely. Now the Tower of Torment is ours for the taking. We have received much here, and we are going to immediately annex it to our domain. Just as planned. Uh, this boar here is going to leave. We can return it to the wilds. Actually, we've probably just eaten it. Let's be real here. We don't return things to the wilds. I mean, in a way, we do. We convert their biomass into more spiders. Bog of Insanity has been researched, thanks to our exploration of the Tower of Torment. Now, we're looking pretty good here. Uh, what tome do we want now? I think I'm going to finally go for the Great Mire. It, it's time. We're going to take it. Because there's some cool, cool spells here. Blight Boil, for one. I think the land? Pocket Province is destroyed. Turns into a swamp. Only going to suffer the poisoned and bogged down status conditions. <laughs> uh, could be fun. I'm going to lock it, actually, and then we're going to take Blight Boil. And our troops are going to destroy this brigand camp. There are six of them now. I think we should be fine, though. I'm just going to... If we have a minor victory chance here, I'm just going to auto-resolve this, though, because... Uh, I believe this is Caustic Worm, son of Caustic Worm, down here. We've taken them out, and that's good. We get a, uh, a warrior out of the deal. We're going to disband that, and the Crusaders claim more. Basically, nothing overly useful. You're going away, because you are a cat person. And we don't deal with those in our realm. Spiders only. And spider worshippers. No cat people. Alright, hero leveled up. Einbis Unfound has ranked up, unsurprisingly. We could give her Leaden Blows, makes a base or makes base melee attacks, gain plus two physical damage, and inflict 90% chance of immobilizing. Oh man, turn her into an absolute tar pit. Um Avatar of Nature, base attacks have a 60% chance of inflicting poison, decayed, weakened, or immobilized for X turns, apparently. Uh, martial expertise could be good. Swift feet. You're not on foot, so not particularly useful. That's that's good. That's really good. I'm gonna take Sentinel. Sounds good to me. Alrighty then. We're looking solid. Spells ready to cast. Well, we could do some destructive regrowth in some of uh, Horsgul Ulok's territories, right? Do you have any uh, regions? But I would like to have destroyed any any particular worthy territories that uh, wouldn't mind blowing up. Not really. Okay, we'll, we'll wait on that. We shall wait. And our troops are in position for the attack on Cork School Ill Locks territories, which uh, we will do in the next episode. Hold on. Remains of Garrick the Bodyguard have been collected. We're going to look at him. I don't think he's going to have too much. That's good. It's just a bunch of, like, tier 2 items. We're going to leave him in the crypt to uh, serve as a, uh, a new nest for spiders. Hold on. No, hero limit is 6 just in general. This I think we can have as many as we want in the crypt, right? I don't think there's a uh, particular limit to them. Which is cool. It's very cool. Nobody in our prison. Um, checking here. Anything just before we uh, end today's episode... I'm going to check all of our cues, or uh, quiwis, as they say. Um, to make sure that everything is producing something. Which is, I feel, important for our long-term survival. And from the looks of it, it's all going well. 
Right, uh, let's withdraw our scouts, because we don't need them at the borders right now. I mean, we technically do, but I can... One unit will serve just fine. And that one unit is going to be these jerks. So they're going to go and hang out over there. Uh, and you know what? They're going to force march over there, because I don't care about their well-being. And considering they are... Uh, what are they called, these guys? The Thralls? They don't care about their well-being either, so... They're going to hang out there and just keep watch. And the rest of our forces are going to come to the teleporter basically, and move towards towards Gululok's territory. Because we're going to burn it to the ground. We're going to burn it all to the ground. Everything is going to die. There's no expansions we can do anywhere? I don't think so. I'm just quickly double-checking. Expansions and all that. Ah, we do. So we do. The Spinner's Feast can expand. So we can take the uh, conduit down here. Magic, my god. 20 magic, 20 research. I'm going to take the conduit. More magic is good. We have 541 magic income. That is ridiculous. To think we were, like, kind of mana starved a couple turns ago. Hold on, we're not done here. This can expand as well. Arachnus Vale. We could seize these farmlands. That would give... You know, I'm going to seize them anyways. I know it's going to technically give him another, uh... He probably has claims on them, Leopard Shale, but I don't... I mean, I do care, because it just means we have to buy that off. But we can buy it off, and I will. Alright, nowhere to expand here until... Tuskheim is, uh, a smoldering ruin. Which it will be. We're gonna raise it. And the Spinner's Nest. Yeah, this is... This is pretty cool, that we can actually do these expansions here. Let's... Drop an Earth Shatter. Not valid. This one is valid. I'm gonna just break this down so that we can uh, move up through there as well. Good stuff. Uh, I could spend some Imperium. It's 450 Imperium. That's definitely not worth it. Uh, we've got a Crow here. You are going to be disbanded because we don't need you. And we've got a, uh, a Warg here. Uh, sorry, a White Wolf. Really good, but very expensive. So we're gonna disband that as well because it's not a Spider. All right, everybody, that's going to be all for this episode. A little bit of a slower episode, but hey, we took the Tower of Torment, and uh, we got backstabbed by the orcs, very predictably. So now we're going to deal with the orcs. I wanted to take out the good guy factions, but I guess evil is killing evil first, as it often does. Evil must be a monolith in order for it to win. So we will make it into a monolith. A glorious arachnid monolith. All right, everybody, leave this video a like if you've enjoyed it, and... Uh, Drop any comments you want to. I enjoy reading them. And I'll catch you in the next one. Ash Herder out.